What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing us a quick mission guide for the Crown Tier 5 mission from Season 2 here in Season 3, known as Case by Case. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 150 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you just do hit that subscribe button on that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so this mission is going to be three parts, and unfortunately, it's going to take us to all three of the maps. So you guys will have to wait till a weekend in order to be able to get access to Building 21, as it will be involved with this mission and you guys won't be able to complete it without it. Part one is asking us to extract the weapon case from Almazra without dying. Now here in season three, the weapons case is typically locked behind the pyro. So you guys will need access to either the embassy, the downtown post office, or the control tower. And all three of those do require a key. So you will need the specific key to the location he is in, which is one of those three, or the best plan of action would be to carry around a skeleton key. That way it doesn't matter which location he is located in. You guys would still be able to get access. Being that this is part one, you could also just keep infilling until he's in the location and which you have the correct key for if you guys wanted to wait and set it up in that fashion as well. Then that way you guys could just take the key over to the location, unlock the door. Once you guys get access to the pyro, he is going to have, of course, a shield and a fire shotgun. So you're going to want to be very careful. My recommendation for taking him on is to eliminate his trophy system, then throw a stun at him, obviously incapacitating him for a short time. Then you guys will be able to eliminate him fairly quickly. Once you guys take down the pyro himself, he will, of course, then drop the weapons case, which is what you're going to need for this mission. Now, I definitely recommend before picking up the weapons case itself, see if there are any rescue hostages in the near location because that way you guys could grab that contract and be able to set yourself up with a pretty easy exfil then you guys would go over to the contract obviously complete that get access to the rescue hostage itself or the hostage take it over to the exfil chopper or at least get the location of the chopper and then during that time period now obviously this only works if you really have squad mates that are kind of helping you complete this correctly you guys could then go over and grab that weapons case at the last second take it over to that exfil chopper which will not be located on the map for the enemies and they won't really be able to see exactly where it's at you guys can then finish up the contract at the same time as jumping in and then exfil safely with that weapons case. Obviously, this isn't always going to be available, so you might just have to go to your nearest exfil and try to exfil safely. But as soon as you guys do grab that weapons case, of course, it will ping you guys on the map, and it is very possible at that point all the other players will make you a target. At this point, with the rewards, not everyone is going for the weapons case, but if you do grab it, they could choose to try to take you out. But no matter what, once you guys are able to exfil this weapons case from Almazra without dying, part one will be complete. Now, part two is where things turn up a little bit. It's asking us to then extract the weapons case from building 21 without dying so once you've gone to Almazra, you've gotten access to that weapons case and then you've exfilled that without dying now you have to go over to building 21 and repeat the process now it is very important to note if you guys do get eliminated in building 21 trying to escape with that weapons case you guys will have to go back and do part one all over again so these parts are going to go back to back so if you get eliminated here in part two you will have to go back and complete one again. Alrighty, so in order to get access to the Building 21 weapons case, there's a couple of things you will actually have to do. Of course, you're going to want to infill into Building 21. Then you're going to need to make your way over to the data center. Now, this is going to be located on the bottom floor at the A and B side of the parking garage. So you guys are going to make your way through the parking garage. Then you're going to work your way through the back hallways over there near where the stair sets to A and B are. And in the centralized location between those two, there will be a data center room, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with, with tons of servers in there. This will then have to make your way in there, clear out the enemies. Then you're going to need to actually hack these servers in order to get access to the armory where you're going to then go get access to the weapons case. So you guys will then go in there, hack the server. You guys will have to defend this for some period of time. Once this is actually completed, you guys will then be able to make your way over to the armory that now that that's unlocked. Now the armory is going to be actually located on the third floor and it is kind of a challenge to get to. If you guys want the easiest way to get to this, you guys will want to go up the D flight of stairs. But once you guys get to the top of the D stair set, you guys will then open the door to that third floor. You guys will take a right going to the main square or the area where the wheel sim will patrol then you guys are going to want to take a left going toward where the A location would be. If you guys are familiar with the way to get to the core lab, pretty much next to the core lab is where the armory is actually going to be located. So again, once you guys get to the main square after going up the D staircase, you guys will take the left. Going to the end of that hall or close to the end of the hall there, you guys will see another left. This is where the armory location will be. You guys will need to go into the armory and then you guys will need to unlock the safe inside here in order to get access to that weapons case. Now you guys will want to go in, of course, start the activation process. Now during the entire time you're going for this weapon case, there is a very high probability that you will run into other players, but typically most of the engagements happen really early on in the match so probably by the time you've gotten access to the armory most of the teams will either be eliminated or already trying to exfil so you guys should if you guys can make it to the save itself and get access to the weapons case be able to exfil safely with this now it is important to note that i definitely recommend going for this weapons case first because one of the things with this mission is is it is not specifying which weapons case you have to grab first it is just a three-part process so definitely recommend going for the building 21 weapons case first as
as it can typically be the most challenging, or at least in my opinion, has the most obstacles to face in order to be able to get access to it. So you guys will make your way up to the armory. You guys will unlock the safe. Then you guys will get access to that weapons case. By this point in the match, you will more than likely have access to an exfil. You guys will then just take that weapons case over to the exfil, obviously call in the elevator, defend it for the 30 second duration, then go into the elevator, be able to close that door and exfil safely. But once you guys are able to exfil safely with this weapons case without dying, part two will be complete. Now, once you get to part three, this is where things are continuing to get a little bit more difficult. It's asking us to extract the weapon case from Ashika Island without dying. So you're gonna have to go to part one, get the Almazar one without dying, go over to building 21, get that one without dying. Then you have to go over to Ashika Island and now you will be at your third weapons case without dying and you're gonna need to be able to exfil this one as well. So what you're gonna need to do then is go over to Suki Castle. You guys can then choose to have the Suki Castle key or go ahead and take on the Wheelson, hitting it with a couple of Thermites or a couple of Semtexes, disabling it, then hacking it to get access to the castle. Then you guys are gonna wanna go to the north door or the one closest to the bridge as it is the easiest way to get access to the bomb maker because you're gonna need to take him out in order to get access to the weapons case. Now you guys can obviously use the cheese strat. If you guys wanna go up on the top of the castle, shoot him through the window, eliminate him so he's not in there when you guys actually go inside. You guys are more than welcome to do that, but I don't feel that it is necessary because it's not all that difficult to take on anyway. And you're more than likely gonna have to take on quite a few AI regardless if you eliminate them. So you guys are gonna go ahead and get access to that door. You're gonna open the door. You're gonna see the sentry gun. You're gonna eliminate all the enemies you have to in order to get through into that first floor. You guys will then take that staircase there to the left. It'll take you up to the second floor. You guys are gonna wanna be careful of the proximity mines, claymores and other traps. And of course the sentry guns. Once you guys are on that second floor, you get to the little square there. You will take it right. You will see another sentry gun here with a set of stairs that goes up. This set of stairs will take you all the way up to where the bomb maker is located, but you do wanna be careful. There is a trap on the stairs with a trip wire that will blow up a grenade. So you guys are gonna wanna disable that. You guys are then gonna to want to take on the minions he has around him. He has a couple of riot shielders up here. He just has a few AI kind of just protecting him. You guys will then take them on, eliminate them. Now I found it is pretty easy at this point. If you guys can take on the trophy system, it obviously can help you because you guys can then throw a stun. You guys should be able to get access to the bomb maker pretty quickly here, eliminate him, and then he will drop the weapons case. Now at this point, the only thing really left for you to do is grab that weapons case and exfil safely. But being that this map is so small, it doesn't really matter whether you go for a hostage contract or not. I think you guys should just go to your closest exfil. Hopefully at this point, if you guys haven't already, maybe you guys can try to eliminate a couple players ahead of actually going for this weapons case and you guys could get a couple of extra teams teammates but I don't actually recommend going for any other players if you can avoid it because obviously that can increase your odds of actually getting eliminated and by the time you get to part three you're probably not going to want to get eliminated because you probably already completed part one and two and this will be your last stand so you guys will grab the weapons case and at this point you guys will go to your closest exfil you'll do your best at this point to exfil safely once you guys have exfiled with this third and final weapons case from Ashika Island this mission will be complete but that's gonna wrap things up for today's quick mission guide thank you guys for all the support in today's video all the support in the channel and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one peace Yes.